We are talking about diets and myths, and there are some, I mean, honestly, I know a lot, and there are a lot of surprises coming up. You're, you're, you're giving me a lot of great information. So we were talking about breakfast. So people are gonna go crazy because everyone says breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And I think every meal is important. Yeah. I agree with you. I think that if you're a person that's going to be so starving that by lunch you'll be grabbing at a bread basket that you have to know yourself, have some nuts, have a bar, have some yogurt. But I don't think that the second you wake up you have to be inundated with having to eat. And you, you what's your reasoning? I, because I think uh, it, these days breakfast weighs you down. It doesn't like give you a jump start on the day. I mean, if you're getting up in the morning and you're having eggs and you're getting protein and fiber, then, then that's fine. And if you like breakfast, but if you don't, don't freak out about it. Okay, so <laughs> now I wanna hear about the crap that's in our food. Yeah, I don't, don't even get me started. Okay, uh, maybe a little. The, the, there are so many ingredients. I mean, there are, you can go to a certain um, popular chain and you can get a milkshake and you realize that the ingredients list is eight inches long. It's got 79 ingredients. In like, a milkshake, yeah, which you think like, is just gonna be ice cream and milk. And you should right. really read labels, not like a crazy person, but just right. if it has ingredients you don't pronounce, you can't pronounce, try to avoid it. Right. 79 and so, ingredients. Yeah, and there's, a, there's, a, there's one called propylene glycol. It, this is basically a component in antifreeze. And that's what's in a lot of ice cream sundaes that we're, well. that we're eating. I mean, right. so you, we gotta go beyond counting calories and start to count ingredients, yes. uh, basically, and just be mindful of yes. like why do my breadcrumbs have 39 ingredients? Yeah, They're, yeah, and when you think outside the box because if it's a box or a package, you're feeding your kids French toast sticks, it's not just bread and eggs. Just start to think a little. You get, you know, we think ourselves so stupid that we don't even look at things, but you got to think a little. So tell me about this because this to me is surprising. Yeah, and well, I, I'm well, not easily surprised. Well, you can start off breakfast with bagel and cream cheese. There's not a lot of nutrition in there at all. This is a, an example of empty calories. And one of the reasons your weight is not your fault is because these food manufacturers, they have all these head fakes, all these tricks. They're trying to like get you to eat as much as possible, but you're eating empty calories. So bagels, so, so even with the your cream Your body cream keeps looking for food, for nutrients, keeps eating because you're eating empty calories. So in this case, 453 calories, it's not really, not much nutritional merit, and it's the equivalent of eating nine hard-boiled eggs, wow. the calorie equivalent. Now, so, let me ask you about the, I eat a whole wheat bagel that's toasted, and I scoop it out, I scoop out the bagel, but whole wheat bagels are a crock, a BS, because it really does have white flour, it's like slightly brown, but I just do it because I like it. I think if you like something and you want it once in a while, then it's, you know, it's yeah. fine, but it, you're just sure. saying it's not a good investment, there's, there's no nutritional value. No nutritional okay. value. Okay, now this looks like a, honestly, this looks like a very healthy salad. Yeah, this is from a popular chain restaurant. Does this not look it's, like the healthiest thing you've ever seen? Like, you'd feel so good, I can't, okay, so how many calories does that chicken, have? Uh, it's 1,500 calories, and it and it ends up Really? Being, yeah, and it it's ends up. It's a spinach up, salad with chicken. It's so simple. Yeah, and, but it, there's oil throughout it, and you're basically talking about the calorie equivalent of six Klondike bars. That is um, the craziest in your, I've ever heard. In your healthy salad, which is the equivalent of, of eating two Whoppers. So what's the point? Should someone have a third of the salad and then it's gonna have 500 calories? Yeah, or I think engage in a dialogue with the, with the chef or the, or the server and basically say, can you bring this out, no oil, or can you put half in a doggy bag right away, or can we split this? Get into the habit of cutting down. Okay, yeah. then? And then we have a pecan pie with a half a cup of vanilla ice cream, uh, it ends up being over 800 calories. Okay. And you don't realize, um, perhaps, that it's the equivalent of 30 strips of bacon. Oh my God. Isn't that? <laughs> <laughs> but, that's crazy. Yeah. But, you know, what would you say, I mean, you, there is a limit. You could have half the pecan pie, half the ice cream, that's of what course, I do. Of course, of course, that's, that's it. Yeah, or find a better pie. Pumpkin pie is a whole lot, you know, less caloric. But, I mean, your ankles will swell like a beast if you eat 30 pieces of bacon, right? It'd be like a watermelon. Right. So just understand what's in your food. And and that's a great message.